Hey, Bob Seitz, full of years. In today's blog, I invite you to think about the question of what's missing. It may seem arcane in, in a world in which we're so full of too many things, food and activity and who knows what, entertainment. But one of the things that I've noticed about being old is this advantage that we might have in being able to, when we're asked, to fill in the blanks to answer the question, what's missing? For example, it's easy to react to what is, and I'm going to show you something right now, and you can react to it. As you can see, it's a soccer field, soccer goal up close. And if I ask you to react to what you see, it would be easy for you to say things like, the net seems to be a little bit uh, askew. Um, I'm not sure that grass has been mowed lately. Uh, are, are the players going to be able to stand in the sun like this with no shade? Um, but it might be possible that if you were in a hurry and I ask you the question too quickly, you might forget to say, there's no players here. The players are missing. I think that kind of phenomenon is, 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 can be true of much of our lives. We're asked to react to things and to judge and to make judgments on what we see, and we do. But what we may forget is that what's missing is really what's important. As I said, part of being old might be, to me, moving slowly enough and assuredly enough and with enough memory to be able to consider this question and to offer uh, it as an evaluative tool, as a way of slowing folks down. What's missing here? And when we do that, I think we give the gift of decision making to folks who may have to make their decisions too quickly. Well, you can read the blog and see what you think. Bob Seitz, full of views.